What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a little bit of talking about some Overwatch controversy. This news actually shook up the Overwatch community this week and I want to talk to you guys about it. Now if you've been under a rock you probably don't know but a major Overwatch character, actually probably the face of the game, has had a pretty astounding change placed on the character uh, just over the holiday season through a new comic book. And for those who don't know, it might be a little surprising. I'll drop a link in the description. Overwatch identifies Tracer as the first openly LGBT character. Comic gets banned in Russia. Blizzard Entertainment, the developer behind the team-based shooter video game Overwatch, recently revealed its webcomic that confirms fans' suspicions that a main character is LGBT. In a holiday comic released on December 20th, Tracer was revealed to be openly gay as she kisses her female partner Emily after giving the latter her Christmas gift. Tracer is a prominent face in the promotional branding of Overwatch and can very well be identified as the game's poster character. Making her openly queer was a monumental move in the developers' efforts for the Overwatch cast to be representative of all races, ethnicities, and genders. In a report from the Hall of Fame magazine back in November, lead hero designer Jeff Goodman and artist Rachel Day have revealed that they're aiming to, quote, build a very diverse game, end quote, and are also focusing on different body types for their cast. Lead writer Michael Chu echoes these sentiments and has been quoted to say that it's quote, very important to them to have diversity and inclusiveness of all types, which includes LGBT characters, end quote. Furthermore, they disclosed that Tracer was not the only LGBT character in the webcomic. There are, quote, several, end quote, in the cast and will be revealed in future issues. The response from Overwatch fans has been largely positive, but the comic certainly had its fair share of detractors. In Russia, the comic has been banned with the message, quote, In accordance with Russia legislation, we are unable to share this comic with our players in Russia, end quote. According to The Guardian, a national law has been implemented in 2013 that makes it illegal to equate straight and LGBT relationships and to distribute material that is supportive of the LGBT rights. Overwatch is also slated to release a graphic novel entitled Overwatch First Strike as per a report from Travelers Today. However, this project has since been scrapped as Chu and his writing team have disclosed that they will be ultimately taking the story in a different direction. Alright, so I have a few thoughts on this. In the United States, it's not Russia. There are certain things that we've become accustomed to accepting. Uh, accepting the freedom of religion, accepting the freedom of speech, the freedom of expression, the freedom to protest, the freedom of people to identify sexually as who they want to be. And I think that that freedom should be respected. And I believe in respecting all opinions, including those that don't agree. Now, I'm a traditional father. I'm a traditional husband. You know, I, I, I believe in God. I know a lot of people don't. And if you don't like me for it, then that means that you are intolerant. <laughs> you know, if you can't tolerate someone who has different points of view than your own, that means that you want the world to be you. And if that's the case, then there might be a little something wrong with you. But I live a traditional household, a traditional family life. I'm raising my children to traditionally the way that my parents raised us or seven of us. And there are certain things that I don't want my children to be subjected to. I will try to shield them from. I have a six-year-old daughter who I just mentioned in another video loves to play Overwatch. If these types of topics somehow leak into the actual game, this will be a game that I take away from her because I don't want her to be subjected to things that I personally don't agree with. Now, when I say I don't agree with it, I'm talking about the lifestyle. I'm not a gay person. I don't have any issue with gay people, but it's not something that I would partake in and it's not something that I would push my children toward doing because it's not, to me, what I believe is a traditional family. I'm raising my children as a traditional father. And if they want to start dropping these LGBT characters in random video games after people become accustomed to playing the games and enjoying the games, that's fine. I'm an adult. You know, I know it's just a video game. It's not real. It's not a big deal. But for me, there are families out there who are traditional. There are Christian families around the country who need to be respected just as much as the LGBT community. This isn't a one-side respect thing. There isn't just one group of people who deserve to be heard and who deserve to have respect. You know, you can respect the LGBT community, but that doesn't mean that you can't respect a Christian community or people who don't want that in their community. It doesn't mean that there's something wrong with them. It means that they have different beliefs than you. 
It's plain and simple. There are different religions around the world who believe different things. Does that mean people are all wrong for not believing the same thing? No, it's just different strokes for different folks. And so me personally, I don't have any issue with this being a comic book. I know Russia is a lot more conservative and they don't want this stuff to, you know, be imposed or, you know, presented in front of children at all. And some people, especially conservatives in America, might agree with that. But personally, I don't want this to start leaking into games and giving my children ideas on things that I personally don't agree with. Now, you can say, Beastly, I agree with it totally. And if you agree with it, that's fine. It's totally fine with me. But people are allowed to have different points of view and different opinions. And I just identify as a traditional heterosexual father who wants his children to grow old and have children and have families and experience the kind of love that I've experienced. And if you don't agree, then that's totally fine. I respect your opinion. If you have a problem with my opinion, maybe you should practice being a little bit more accepting. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below about Tracer from Overwatch being the first openly LGBT character in the game and now we hear there will be more. So who do you think is going to come out of the closet next? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please sound off in the comments and give me your thoughts on this very touchy subject. Uh, everybody, let's try to respect one another. I respect you and I'm sure that most of you respect me. So let's keep it kind down there when you guys are discussing your thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, and follow me on Twitter. You can also support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.